Hello everyone. Today we are going to find the member forces in this truss using flexibility matrix method. Let us find the degree of static indeterminacy that is DSI plus DSE. To find the internal static indeterminacy, this is the formula. M is the total number of the members. Let us count the members. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. M is 7. J is the total number of joints. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. J is 5. For degree of internal static indeterminacy, we will get 0. To find the external degree of static indeterminacy, this is the formula. R is the number of the reactions to be found. In the points A and D, there are hinged supports. We know that in the hinged supports, there will be two reactions. Here two and here two. So totally it is four. Small r is the available equilibrium conditions. There are three conditions available. Sigma v is equal to zero. Sigma h is equal to zero and sigma m is equal to zero. For the degree of external static indeterminacy, we will get one. So the degree of static indeterminacy of the truss is one. In this truss, we do not have internal static indeterminacy. We have only external degree of static indeterminacy, that is one. In the point A, there will be two reactions. And in the point D also, there will be two reactions. Out of these four, we have to remove any one of them. I am going to remove the horizontal reaction from the point A, that is HA. In the point A, now there is a hinged support. But when we remove HA, it becomes a roller support. We know that in the roller support, there will be only one reaction. Right now, there is only vertical reaction. This structure is called released structure. Now let us draw the coordinates diagram. In this analysis, there is only one coordinate that is HA because we have released that. Let us assume that HA is acting towards the right side. Finally, if we get a negative value, that means that our assumption is incorrect. Then we can change the direction. We know that this is the formula we are going to use to find HA. In this analysis, there is only one coordinate. So the size of all of these four matrices will be 1 cross 1. That means inside the matrix, there will be only one member. In this truss, there is no external deflection. So delta will be 0. This minus this, we will get this matrix. Since there is only one member inside the matrix, we can take the member out of the matrix. P1 is HD, delta inverse will be 1 upon delta. So we have simplified the formula to find HD. Now we have to make this table. In the table, first we have to enter all of the members. Then we need to find P, that is the member forces in the released structure. Before finding the member forces, we need to find the reactions. In this roller support, we need to find the vertical reaction VA. And in this hinged support, we need to find the vertical reaction VD and the horizontal reaction HD. By using this rule for HD, we will get a zero because except this, there is no horizontal load or horizontal reaction. To find VA, let us take a moment about D. VA is acting in the clockwise direction, so it will be positive and the distance is 8, so 8 VA. This load is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be negative and the distance is 4. For both of these, there is no perpendicular distance, so we should not consider both of them. For VA, we will get 30 kN. To find VA, you can also take a moment about to see. You will get the same answer. Let us apply this rule and find VD. VA and VD are acting upwards, so both of them are positive. 
these two loads are acting downwards so both of them are negative for vd we will get 120 kilo newton we need to find this angle let us keep this angle as theta let us take this uh, triangle and in this triangle let us apply tan theta formula that will be opposite side 3 upon the adjacent side 4 for theta we will get 36.87 if this angle is 36.87 this angle also should be 36.87 let us take the joint A and to find the member forces in this analysis I am going to only use cos theta if you wanted to use sin theta as well you can do that this angle should be equal to 90 minus 36.87 so that we will get 53.13 first we need to apply this rule because there will be only one unknown FAE is inclined we have to resolve FAE in the vertical direction to keep it in the vertical direction we need this angle so with the FAE we have to multiply cos 53.13 it is acting upwards so it will be positive this also is acting upwards so it is also positive for FAE we will get to minus 50 kN now we need to apply this rule we have to resolve FAE in the horizontal direction to keep it horizontal we need this angle so with the FAE we have to multiply cos 36.87 since it is acting towards the right side it will be positive FAB is acting towards the right side so it is also positive just before we have found FAE we can apply that for FAB we will get 40 kN now let us take the joint B and find the member forces first let us apply this rule this is acting upwards so it will be positive and this is acting downwards so it will be negative for FBE, we will get 60. Let us apply this rule. This is acting towards the left side, so it will be negative. And this is acting towards the right side, so it will be positive. We have already found the FAB. Let us apply that. For FBC, we will get 40. Now let us take the joint D and find the member forces. Let us apply this rule. This is acting upwards, so it will be positive and this is acting downwards so it will be negative for FCD we will get 120 by applying this rule we will come to know that FDE is a 0 now let us take the joint C we have to only find FCE using this rule we can find that easily we have to resolve FCE in the horizontal direction to keep it horizontal we need this angle so with the FCE we have to multiply cos 36.87 it is acting towards the left side so it will be negative FBC is acting towards the left side so it is also negative we can apply the value of FBC for FCE we will get to minus 50 kN let us apply all of the values of P now we need to find K we have to remove all of the loads from the truss and then in the direction of HA, we have to apply unit load. You can see that I have removed all of the loads and I have applied unit load in the direction of HA. We need to find these reactions. Let us apply this rule and find HD. The unit load is acting towards the right side, so it will be positive. HD is acting towards the left side, so it will be negative. For HD, we will get to 1. To find VA, let us take a moment about D. VA is acting in the clockwise direction, so it will be positive and the distance is 8, so 8 VA. The unit load is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be negative and the distance is 3. For VA, we will get 0 0.375. Using this rule, we can find VD. These two are acting upwards, so both of them are positive. For VD, we will get a negative value. That means the assumed direction is incorrect. We assumed that it is acting upwards, but actually it is acting downwards. 
we need to change the direction of VD. You can see that here I have changed the direction of VD downwards. Now we need to find the member forces. First, let us take the joint A and to find the member forces. First, we need to apply this rule because there will be only one unknown. We have to resolve FAE in the vertical direction. To keep it vertical, we need this angle. So with the FAE, we have to multiply cos 53.13. It is acting upwards, so it will be positive. This is also acting upwards, so this is also positive. For FAE, we will get minus 0 0.625. Then we need to apply this rule. We have to resolve FAE in the horizontal direction. To keep it horizontal, we need this angle. So with the FAE, we have to multiply cos 36.87. It is acting towards the right side, so it will be positive. FAB is acting towards the right side, so it is positive. The unit load is also acting towards the right side, so it is also positive. For FAE, we have got minus 0 0.625, we can apply that. Finally, for FAB, we will get minus 0 0.5. Now let us take the joint B and to find the member forces. By applying this rule for FBE, we will get a zero. Let us apply this rule. FAB is acting towards the left side, so it will be negative. FBC is acting towards the right side, so it will be positive. Let us apply the value of FAB. Here there is already a negative sign. So negative into negative, it will be positive. For FBC, we will get minus 0.5. Let us take the joint D and find the member forces. Let us apply this rule. Both of these are acting downwards, so both of them are negative. For FCD, we will get minus 0 0.375. Let us apply this rule. Both of these are acting towards the left side, so both of them are negative. For FDE, we will get minus 1. Now let us take joint C. Only we have to find FCE. Using this rule, we can find that we have to resolve FCE in the horizontal direction. To keep it horizontal, we need this angle. So with the FCE, we have to multiply cos 36.87. Since it is acting towards the left side, it will be negative. FBC is acting towards the left side, so it is also negative. We can apply the value of FBC. Here there is a negative sign, so negative into negative, it will be positive. For FCE, we will get 0 0.625. Let us enter all of the values of K. Now we need to find the length of the members. Length of AB, BC and ED is 4. Length of BE and DC is 3. To find the length of these two members, we can use Pythagoras theorem. That is root of 3 square plus 4 square. We will get 5 meter. Let us enter all of the lengths. Then we need to find PKL, we will get this. And K square L, we will get this. We need to add all of these so that we will get this. And we need to add all of these so that we will get this. This is the formula to find delta L. This is the formula to find delta. In the question, nothing is mentioned about the area or Young's modulus. So we can assume that the area and the Young's modulus for all of the members is the same. In this one, we can apply delta L and delta. No need to take AE because it will be eliminated. For HA, we will get 28.56 kN. We have got a positive value. That means our assumption is correct. Then using this formula, we can find all of the real member forces. Here I have entered all of the member forces in the truss. If the member force is positive, that is tensile. And if it is negative, that is compressive. In the joint D, there is no inclined member. In this case, we can easily find VD and HD. This is acting towards the right side. So HD should be acting towards the left side. This is acting downwards. So VD should be acting upwards. Then we have to apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0 and we can find va. Otherwise to find va there is one more idea. 
this angle is 53.13 ba should be equal to 67.85 into cos 53.13 we will get 40.71 now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video